Hey, what's up, y'all? Well, I'm back again. So, I know it's still Thursday. Uh, I told you I was going to start doing this tomorrow, but since my show is next week, and I still got to work on the glass house on Mother 75, I'm going to start today. Um, I had to clean up, get all this junk out of the way. That way I can get uh, my jack inside and jack up the car. Uh, so you can tell. Engine parts, man. I'm no mechanic. Tell you this right now. I'm no mechanic. But I'm a YouTube mechanic. <laughs> my first time putting an engine together. So that one is going to go to that uh, 83. Uh, but anyways, back over here. Uh, the first thing I had to do was jack up the car. Um, took the wheel off. That's good. That way I can check it out, clean it up a little bit. Um, you see, all the brake calipers got a little breather. Right here. So this is what we're going to be uh, using to bleed the brakes. The tool that I was telling you about oh, uh, is right here. Today we're going to be using the uh, Mighty Bag MV8000. So one of the things that you're going to need right now bleeding the brakes, of course, your brake fluid. You don't want your master cylinder to run out of fluid while you're bleeding the brakes because guess what? You're going to get more air. So, um, you know, I have never messed with this one right here. We are about to learn together, man, to be honest with you. But uh, it's, it's simple. I was doing a little research. This right here, they go to the uh, bleeder. Um, this little cup right here is connected to this. You got to have a little bit of fluid at all times. Once you start uh, putting pressure uh, with this, um, it starts getting cleaning out the line so you're gonna see the air coming out you're gonna see some brake fluid but uh man let's stop talking about it and just do it so here it goes man i just put it out the box connect the hoses uh right here in the tank make sure you read that right on the top it tells you what size goes to the pump and this one right here is gonna go to the bleeder um what you're gonna need right now is let me put this down real quick. What you're gonna need? Uh, make sure you get this. It's open, easy access. Make sure you have fluid. Um, I got brand new fluid, so I don't gotta uh, take the old fluid out. But we're gonna see a lot of the old fluid coming out of the lines. Uh, get your little wrench, man, because you're gonna have to open up the bleeder. Uh, is this one right here? So the line is gonna be connected to here. We're gonna create some pressure. Once the pressure is up, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna start seeing the uh, fluid coming out. So let me set it up real quick. While you set it up right now, and then look, as you can tell, fluid is coming now, air is coming now. So that's what we want. Uh, man, this fluid should be clear, but you know, like I say, I don't know when was the last time they did this to this car. So we're gonna go from there. Um, you gotta use clear lines, that way you can see the fluid coming out, the air coming out. Uh, that way you know everything is working. Uh, I'll get back with y'all when uh, it's just fluid. As you can see, we got some of the old fluid out right there. You can see the difference in the color. Look at this right here. Look at the new fluid. Uh, it looks pretty clean. Not a lot of, uh, no bubbles, just small bubbles. So we're gonna call it done with this side right here. Right now that it's getting pressure, make sure you tie back your little bleeder to make sure no air is going in. You don't want air to go back in this one. Okay, now that it's tight, uh, we're about to disconnect it and go to the... Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, though. Uh, whenever you start bleeding your brakes, make sure you go from the front. Always start with the closest side on the master cylinder. So it's this right here. So now I'm going to go to the passenger side and do the other side. So we're done with this side right here. Uh, check the uh, fluid level. I just opened it up. I had a little bit more fluid because it was getting low. Uh, make sure you always have fluid. Once you're done, 
you don't have to close it completely you just put it on top just to prevent trash to go inside so we're done with this side let's move on to the next one so I just got done putting all the tire, man. I just saw what time it was. Uh, it's not gonna be time for me to do it today. But uh, you see the first, uh, the first side. Um, man, I got really no, not much room right here. So I clean up all these uh, tomorrow morning. Get it out the way, lift up the car, take up the tire, and do the same exact thing that we did to the front wheel, to the uh, passenger side. Um, so man, like I say, I think I spent forty-eight dollars for that little tool. Uh, the only thing that I, you're gonna need is gonna be brake fluid, and it's a three-eight, three-eight wrench that I need uh, that I use for this car. Again, uh, you might need a different uh, wrench. This is 70, uh, 75 Caprice, uh, three fifty small block. So make sure you know if you get the little tool, it's pretty simple, man. Uh, you get that man the first time i had to read my little book i never do but i never used this tool before so um yeah man that's it like i say uh you don't have to be a mechanic to do all these little things man i know mechanics they charge up the ass uh trying to avoid doing that uh and learn myself in, in the process you know if i can help you out well we can learn together so let me know what you think man and uh yeah just Tell me if it's helpful or not, and uh, uh, we we'll go from there, man. Hopefully, I can make more of these little videos. You know, I enjoy working on my cars. Might as well share it with you. Uh, yeah, have a good one.